John Zimbu, VP, uh, senior VP of publishing of the Razor Tie, and is a dear friend and fellow lover of great song writing, and former club owner, former, no, still performs, tells great jokes, but we're here today to ask him a couple of questions about songs, just because that's what we're all into. Um, and I guess I just wanted to ask you, what what touches you most? What resonates most with you when you hear a, a great song? First thing that gets to you. You know, the first time I listen to a song, I, I really tr try not to get too specific about the way that I listen to it. I just, the first time I listen to something, it really is the way that it makes me feel. Mm -hmm. it, it, even to the point where I, I don't even know what the song is about sometimes. And, and if, if something moves me emotionally, it, you know, it's sort of below the surface, then, it, then it's, it's what really interests me. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and then I can sort of back up and examine why it is and sort of break it down technically. But would it's you, would, I'm sorry, would you say like, for instance, James Maddox, we were just listening to, mm -hmm. now an artist like that who's got such amazing poetry, mm -hmm. would that be, I mean, aside from the setting of the music, is that what resonates also to you, the amazing power of the word? It, 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 it is that, but it's also the un, the emotion that under, underlies it all. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I think that uh, people that are that are great craftsmen are able to get that across very specifically. Um, you know, most people when they hear a great song, it moves them in a way they don't know the nuts and bolts of how the songwriter wrote the song. But if, if you were to break it down and how it works. You could probably explain it to almost anybody exactly how right. it, it, it works because there is a, a an architecture to, to writing songs, and it, it, it is you know, it's part art, part science, right? right. The way that really the, the songs. Um, how do you see the world of publishing for songwriter, singer songwriter, changing, or has it changed? Or well, it, it, you know, we are in, in a, a challenging environment, and um, with the, the diminishing value of mechanicals, um, mm -hmm. it really, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's harder to, to justify doing publishing deals because record sales are so uncertain these mm -hmm. days. Uh, I, I think that there's a lot people can do on their own. Mm -hmm. um, you know, here at Razor and Tile, we've recently signed uh, uh, somebody to the record company and also to the publishing company who, uh, a guy named Dave Barnes. Mm -hmm. um, Great writer. Dave has sold in excess of 40,000 records on his own. Wow. So that's... Um, that's an indication of what you can do on your own. He didn't need a record company. He didn't need a publisher. But I do think that he was at the point where he felt like to get to the next level, he did need somebody with an infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And you know, if, you know, I, I think that that's been a great decision for him. Uh, you know, for instance, we recently got a sync for him on Army Wives, the Lifetime Show, mm -hmm. one of his songs. And, and I, I think that that's just the beginning of what we can do for him, synchronization-wise. Synchronization, yeah. This is great for writers to hear because it's, you know, once, let's say you do, you sell 40,000 units on your own on your MySpace page, you have all these. So what do you need, um, Razor and Ty, for what can you explain? How does that take it to the next level for an artist? This is talking to people that know very little about it. Well, in, in, in terms of, of, of what a, a publisher can do for a developing artist, mm -hmm. um, especially when you, you know, putting somebody like Dave Barnes aside, you know, they're, the, the publishers are more interested, I think, in, in, in getting somebody on board early mm -hmm. for, frankly, a lower amount of money and then helping them to develop, whether that's... Uh, helping them get recordings that will then help them get a record deal, 
mm -hmm. helping them getting TV and film placements, helping them get places on music and commercials, etc. There, there are many, many ways that a, that a, that a publisher can help. I, I even have gone so far as to help connect my writers to agents to get them on the road in front of mm. audiences. Um, you know, they're they're really you know, from from our point of view as a proactive independent publisher, there is nothing that we won't do in in terms of, of, of pushing someone's career forward. Mm -hmm. in, in, uh, you know, there, there are many, many ways you can do it, whether it's connecting with a lawyer, connecting with a manager, connecting with right. an agent. Lining up the dots. Mm -hmm. Introducing them to music supervisors. Um, Producers and... Club owners. Mm -hmm. any, anything that, that I think will help to push them forward. Yeah. Thank you. Um, let me think of my last question. Can you get, like, a pan of me taking him? As oh, yeah, sure. I can, I can go around. Mm -hmm. the whole room yeah. Very organized desk. <laughs> 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 totally. Um, that's cool. Now, this was a question that was asked to me the other night when I was doing a, a little documentary on some cool places to play in town, and they came to the songwriter circle. And somebody asked, over all these years, and you and I, JW, go back a long time in this business, what, how do you think? song has changed, or have you seen it change, writing, over all these years, what has changed, or has it not? Well, I think people write to tracks more than they used to. Mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, the recording technology has got to the point where it's, it, it, there, there's really been what I would call a democratization of recording technology, where you can make an incredibly professional recording sitting in your bedroom on a laptop. That's really the biggest change. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the craft of songwriting, um, mm -hmm. you, know, you still have to write big choruses, you still have to connect with people. Yeah. You know, I, I don't, a, a great song is a great song is yeah. a great song. I don't think it matters. Genre, time, place, any of that. Totally agree. So, uh, you know, that will never change. The power of a great song will never change. Um, the technology with which we deliver it, you know, is in transition as we speak. Well, thank you, JW. This is awesome. This is Tina Schaefer and JW Johnson, Senior VP of Publishing at Razor and Tie, on our very first blog. <laughs> thank you.